you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber my name is Hannah Valentine and today I'm here to start my brand new series called behind the brand and basically I'm gonna talk about a bunch of alternative brands and just kind of tell their stories and how they came to be and just kind of tell the backstory because you know we love all these brands but we don't really know the backstory behind them if you are not already subscribed I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe before we start this video um, if you have any uh, suggestions of any brands that you want me to do for future videos let me know but today we are starting episode one of behind the brand and today we are talking about the brand Delius it can also be pronounced Delias or Delius like there's just so many different uh, pronunciations but today I'm just gonna be saying Delius if you are not familiar with the brand Delius it was a catalog in the 90s and early 2000s that had a bunch of uh, teen girls clothing and shoes and bags and accessories what was really cool about Delius is that they basically sold everything through catalogs, which are actually coined as magalogs because it combined the aesthetics of a magazine with the uh, shopping experience of a catalog. So they were really unique because they had these magalogs and they didn't have any brick and mortar shops until about 10 years after they started the brand. Delius is such a cool brand. Um, some of you may have heard of it or know like how aesthetic and how cool their brand is. Their history is so unique and I'm just ready and excited to share it with you guys. Delius the brand was started in 1993 by two Yale graduates, Christopher Edgar and Stephen Kahn. They were roommates at Yale and they originally decided to start a brand geared towards college age students and they started making like stuff geared more towards like college aged women. During the making of their first issue, they recruited Charlene Benson, who is an absolute icon in photography, and she ended up working with Delius in their entire run in the 90s because her work is just so amazing and she took such an awesome creative lead on this project. So at this time, Charlene Benson was helping Stephen and Christopher release their first issue of Delius in the fall of 1994. And also at this time, Charlene Benson was also working at the magazine Mademoiselle. She was a photographer there. And she said when she started working on Delius that she wanted to have a different approach than what she was working on at Mademoiselle. So Charlene was the first creative director for the very first Delius magazine that was printed and released in the fall of 1994. Here's what the very first cover looked like. So with the first release of Delius magazines, they were actually handed out all over college campuses and they actually were so popular that they ended up spreading from college campuses into a lower age range. Stephen and Christopher had discovered that Delius magazines were not only popular with college students, but to people in high school and middle school and ages as low as 10 years old. So since they discovered that Delius was so popular with women of all ages, they decided to expand their inventory and curate pieces for people in high school, college age, and just empowered women in general. When Christopher and Steven told Charlene how successful the first issue was, she transitioned from working at Mademoiselle magazine to working at Delius full time. Charlene's work was super notable in Delius magazines. Um, she experimented with a fish eye lens, which created like, you know, when models have like bigger heads or bigger feet. And she loved experimenting and just being creative on the shoots. She was the one that actually decided to have a plain white background, which is super iconic in the Delius magazines, to kind of highlight what they were wearing and kind of let the personality of the models show and not have like a distracting background or anything like that. Just kind of have the models be like the main part of uh, each issue. Another iconic thing about Delius. If you've ever read a Delius magazine or looked at a screenshot from a Delius spread, you'll notice that there's like words on each page and they're, they're just like funky phrases. And also in the Delius name, it has uppercase and lowercase letters in the name. And this was something that Charlene Benson actually thought of. She was reading Sassy Magazine and she saw a typeface that she really liked and she wanted to emulate that into Delius. Here's a quote from Charlene Benson about that iconic capital and lowercase font. Quote, Sassy had done something kind of like that and we really liked it, but because I was such a bad typist a lot of times, my typing would look like that, so I was just like, this feels right, end quote. So the models that Delius had in their magazines were partially street casted, which means they went out on the streets scouting for models, but also some of them are from agencies. The models are really a big part of Delius magazines because some days they would let them pick their own outfits, um, they let them pick their own facial expressions. You know, if you ever look through a Delius magazine, literally all the facial expressions and poses and everything is just so unique so they really let the models personalities shine through and Charlene really wanted like um, each model to kind of show their own personality and uniqueness so the Delius brand and Delius catalogs grew super fast 
fast and they ended up being a million dollar industry in just a couple of years. Catalogs were sent out for free to my knowledge. Um, all you had to do was request a catalog. At this point in the 90s, they were getting about 5,000 catalog requests every day and at their highest point, they got about 55 million catalogs out every single year. And it's actually crazy because there are statistics that say that like 10% of all like uh, millennial women in the US at that time, they had like a copy. Like 10% of all like millennial women in that era had a copy of Adelius magazine. So I think that's awesome. One thing that made the Delius magazine super popular is because it was super accessible for uh, teens and young women to shop. All you had to do was order a Delius magazine and you could call in and get whatever clothes you want without even having to travel super far if you lived in the middle of nowhere. Also, the prices were super affordable compared to mall prices, so that's what made Delius super appealing. Delius had its peak with the catalogs in the 90s, and in 1999, they actually opened their first brick and mortar shop in a mall. Long story short, they had a hard time transferring the aesthetic of Adelius magazine into a brick and mortar store in a mall. So the transfer from a magazine to an actual store in a mall was very unsuccessful for them, unfortunately. And in 2003, a competitor magazine called Alloy actually purchased Delius and switched lanes into what kind of clothes Delius produced, and now it was more mainstream rather than all. Alternative. So as of 2011, Delius had 115 mall-based stores in 33 U.S. states, um, but unfortunately they were losing millions of dollars a year because of these um, in-person stores compared to how much they were making when they were just doing catalogs. Apparently they lost $22 million just in the first nine months of 2010. So unfortunately, since these brick-and-mortar stores were not doing as well as the catalog was in the 90s, and the upkeep of just like brick-and-mortar stores were just super expensive, they unfortunately did have to file for bankruptcy in 2014 and they did have all their stores liquidated in 2015 and Delius was out of business by the end of 2015. Luckily, in 2018, the brand Dalskill actually purchased and licensed the name Delius and they brought Delius back to life. So if you haven't heard of the website Dollskill, it is a host website where a bunch of brands sell through Dollskill. So Dollskill is just like a host to a bunch of different brands. So since Dollskill had licensed the brand Delius and they bought all rights to the name, they actually came out with a collection of 70 plus pieces on November 2nd of 2018. Most of these pieces in this collection really just took inspiration from the early Delius from the 90s, and some pieces were even identical to some pieces that uh, Delius had in the 90s. To this day, in 2021, you you can buy Delius from dollskill.com, but side note, you shouldn't buy from Dollskill because they're not a good company. So if you want to purchase anything Delius, make sure to buy it secondhand. You know, look at Depop, look at Mercari and Poshmark. Just make sure not to buy from Dollskill because they do have a racist past and they are fast fashion, so we can't support either of those things. So make sure to buy your Delius secondhand. And that is the end of episode one of Behind the Brand. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I had such a good time researching it. If you have any requests for any brands, please put them in the comments. I can't wait to make my next video on the brand Trip NYC. If you want to know when I post that video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you know when I post it. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you all have a good day. Bye!